Hungarians and Polish people rightfully deserve more respect from the current and former leaders of the United States. This is what the Prime Minister Viktor Orban said in an interview to Public Radio on Friday morning. The PM reacted to Bill Clinton's accusations, namely that the two countries are establishing a Putin-like leadership. Commenting on the quota referendum, Viktor Orban said that the government wants a democratic European Union which is determined by Europeans and not an elite of bureaucrats in Brussels. The Prime Minister said that the quota referendum is the sole thing that cannot be taken lightly in Brussels either. Viktor Orban pointed out that the Brussels elite scope for action stretches only as far as the point where people declare their opinion in a clear, legally correct and unquestionable way. When this shall happen, however, as it will happen, since the EU, even in its current state, is still a democratic community, politicians shall back out. Hence Brussels will too back out, he said. The Prime Minister explained that the EU would establish a constant distribution system in the future, which means that it is not the question of one isolated case, but rather that of our future. He added that life in several large European cities has undergone a significant change in the past 10 to 20 years. And if we let this happen, then in 10 to 20 years we will not be able to recognize Budapest. We will not recognize any of our larger cities. And those who have children should take it into account that in 15 years their children will ask them why they let our country turn into this, said the Prime Minister. Reacting to Bill Clinton's recent accusations that Poland and Hungary are going through a Putinization, Viktor Orban said that people of Hungary and Poland rightfully expect more respect from the previous and current leaders of the United States. The Prime Minister said that those negative remarks about Poland and Hungary and about Central Europe in general, that multiplied since the beginning of the migrant crisis, are not accidental slips of the tongue. Here in Central Europe, there is a background power in operation which can be linked to George Soros. He's one of the most important sponsors of the American Democratic Party. The reason why I have to point this out is to reveal that the mouth may have been that of Clinton, but the voice came from George Soros, said the Prime Minister. Viktor Orban added that George Soros's plan of settling one million Muslims in Europe every year shall not be accomplished as long as Hungary has a national government.